All right, what is up, guys? Today is Monday, April 24th, 2017. And um, over these next few days, I'm going to try to do some updates on all the vehicles um, and everything that's going on in the garage because I've had some requests to uh, do some updates on this stuff. I just really haven't had a chance to do it. So, um, And uh, like I said, maybe I'll, I'm definitely going to do the, uh, the vehicles and maybe I'll do some other stuff in the garage while I'm at it that you guys might care about. But... Um, Today I'm going to do a video on the uh, Craftsman LT1000 lawn tractor. This is something I've uh, I've uh, made probably uh, five or six videos on so far. And uh, this is the April update. Um, as you guys can see, it has changed a little bit. Uh, once again, from the last update, um, I think the last update I did on this thing was um, President's Day. So that was uh, roughly two months ago, and uh, we at that time we still had the snow plow on it and the wheel weights and the tire chains. Um, but uh, that season is over. So uh, Saturday, uh, my brother and I took all that stuff off. So uh, over here we got the snow plow, um, still all assembled. I just uh, took the bolts off the side and the thing came right down. Um, then we put the bolts into a bag and uh, taped it onto there. Um, took the wheel weights off. Those are the wheel weights right there. Um, kept those parts together. Uh, took the tire chains off. Those are in the box. And then those are the uh, these are the tire chain. Um, I'm not even sure what these things are called, but they hold the tire chains in place. Um, so all that stuff got taken off um, on Saturday. And um, for now, it's just going to sit back here until we sell the tractor. All this stuff will go with the tractor when we sell it. Um, but uh, yesterday, my brother and I tackled putting the mowing deck back on this thing, which was not fun, I'll tell you that. Um, this is supposed to be one of the easier decks to do, and uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we actually followed an instructional video on YouTube, so thank you to the person that uploaded that. Um, but uh, it's, it's basically just a bunch of cotter keys and uh, connecting everything. But um, we got that done, and um, the deck is back on safely and operating. Um, but like I said, it's just a bunch of cotter keys and uh, levers and uh, putting the belt back on, that was easy. Um, and uh, I pulled this thing out today and I um, uh, mowed the lawn with it, so. Um, it cut beautifully, and um, this thing is uh, uh, back into lawn mowing service. Um, the only thing we don't have on it that's uh, still sitting in the back is the uh, the, the bagging system, which uh, we haven't really um, gotten that out yet. But uh, at some point, probably when we actually sell the tractor, we'll put the bagging system back on. But right now we're going to keep that off. Um, like I said, we're probably going to keep all that stuff off till we sell it because, uh, I like to mulch. I'm not a big fan of, uh, of actually bagging the grass. I like to mulch. But anyway, um, uh, back to normal as it was before. Um, this thing has been, uh, running flawlessly ever since we replaced the head gasket on it back in, uh, August or something like that. But, um, it has not been, uh, smoking at all. It hasn't been leaking any oil. It is a gas guzzler, I'll tell you that. Um, I uh, topped this tank off pretty much um, a few minutes after I started the lawn because I uh, ran out of gas, and uh, it's already down to there. So, But, uh, you know, that's all right. It's a pretty reliable machine. Uh, check the oil. The oil is good. Um, you know, I barely ran this thing during the winter because we got no snow. So, um, anyway, I'm going to stop the, uh, the blabbing and... Uh, start this thing up for you guys it's already got a little bit of uh dirt on it from uh mowing the lawn today but uh i'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up for you guys uh show the deck in action once again and i'm gonna go ahead and uh start up for you guys so here we go put this right here
Yep. So that thing runs pretty darn good, I'll tell you. Um, I didn't think we would get the mowing deck back on that quickly, but we got that back on pretty quickly. It was a little bit easier than I thought. You know, like I said, the cotter keys were a little bit of a pain in the butt, but, um, you know, got the mowing deck back on. Hopefully we'll be able to mow with this thing a few more times. From what my dad told me, um, he would definitely like to, um, you know, uh, I asked him if I can mow with it a few more times. He said yes, pretty much. And, um, pretty much what my dad wants to do is, uh, put the bagging system back on. Um, power wash the heck out of this thing, make it clean, polish it, and uh, then it's going back up, or uh, not back up, but uh, it's it's going up for sale on Craigslist, because uh, like, like I said in the first video, our our uh, yard really isn't designed for something like this, um, and uh, more than likely we've we've already had a few problems with this thing, and uh, we got it broken, so we had to to fix it. And uh, more than likely, it's just going to get to the point where we're just going to have more and more problems with this thing. So, uh, I mean, um, I'm sure at some point, the belts will start to go bad on the, the, the deck, on the tranny. So we don't want to deal with any of that stuff. Um, and plus, uh, we have a lot of other stuff to work on in the garage, so we need the space. Um, we did get it up to the garage. That's a big thing, because all, uh, all winter long, we've had it outside with a t in the back with a tarp over it. Um, but we got rid of our, uh, Mercedes 300E because that was trash, basically. So we, we moved this, uh, Ford F250, which was sitting in here. We, uh, we rolled that out a couple days ago. We used the F150 to push this back here into the, into place because this does not run right now. So, but like I said, that's, that's for a different video. I'll do the updates on the vehicles in a couple days. But, um, here's the updates on the Craftsman LT1000. Thanks for watching.